So this is something pretty different. I don't normally talk about these types of things in videos. I might mention this stuff on stream from time to time. However, I do think I can throw in a bit of a two cent commentary on this whole situation. So for those of you who don't know who this dude is, I never heard of him until now recently. He is a Twitch streamer, by the way, you should follow me over on Twitch. Hell, all it streams over there. And look, he had a bit of a moment that kind of blew up when he exploded on one of the people in his chat. Now, I'm someone that believes, you know, you should respect the chat. You don't have to agree with everything they say, fuck that. But, you know, you should have respect for them because they're taking time out of their day to, to watch you. You got to remember, us streamers, we're just the fucking monkey behind the camera. Without the people watching, we're just dickheads talking to, to a camera and a microphone. We're nothing without the viewer. It's always been that way and it always will be that way. There should be a, a respect for that as well. However, this person who appears to be like a frequent viewer of theirs come in and the guy was all like, hey, where have you been? I haven't seen you in a while, something along those lines. And she said, oh, my mother passed away. And he exploded on her saying, you know, you're killing the vibe. Now, killing the vibe's a bit of a meme that we have over here. You know, it's kind of making fun of people like this in all honesty. And he kind of exploded on her for killing the vibe. Now, look, I do just want to say that I have seen both in my own streams and in many other streams, that sometimes people will think of a streamer as like a personal therapist when that's not the case whatsoever. However, this was the complete wrong response from this dickhead to do. He has since done an apology, but if you know me, you know my thoughts on these apologies. It's just because they got caught fucking up. I don't think he's actually genuinely sorry. And this happened over his Twitch stream. There is a clip, so we're going to check it out. And I kind of want to break down some of this. Now, this has 2 million views. So here we go over here in spanish and it's chef's kiss all right curvy where the fuck have you been see there's someone that pops into his chat that's a frequent viewer so he says where the fuck have you been you know like there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever i mean like you know people that watch my streams you guys like to roast me i like to roast you it's a good time so you know we can kind of talk like that of each other oh my god we'll tell you what mr okay so there there she goes says that her mom's passed away and this is his response curvy, curvy, you know what we're not gonna do we're not gonna talk about it in my chat because it's Friday, and that is a whole big bucket of bummer. A big bucket of bummer. Her fucking mother passed away, you dickhead. And I'm sorry for your loss, but we're not doing that in my fucking chat. Complete wrong response to do there, man. The best thing- I get it. You know, it is a bit of a bummer. Maybe it wasn't the place to mention it, but he did fucking ask. He did ask. So she has every right to say that. I think the way to go about this would have been for him to address it in, the, in a human way and then move on from it as well. Because like I said, streamers are not personal therapists. However, to explode on her and talking about killing the stream, killing the vibe, his fucking, him, his rant, him going off is what ruined that stream. Not her. This is on him. It's pretty ironic that it's called, the channel's called We Found the Body as well. Thank you. Well, okay, Miss Dirty Kirby, you said, no, that's fine. You asked, so I told. No, I didn't ask you to tell me the biggest fucking bummer news in the world. Yes, you did. You asked what was up, and that's what was up. I said, hey, what's up? How are you? You know what? Let me give you a little bit of a lesson, Miss Nerdy Kirby. You are in no position to give anyone a fucking lesson, motherfucker. These people come to watch you, and I dare say after this, you're going to have quite a few less viewers. When something really, really bad is going on in your life... And in a public forum, someone asks you, hey, what's up? How are you? There are two acceptable response, uh, responses. Good and, you know what? I'll make it through. That's it. No, you asked. She told you. Keep that in mind. How are you? Good or, you know what? I'll make it through. Now, look, let me know if you disagree with me. But right now, he's the one derailing the stream. Awesome. Love to hear it. See, there you go. Or Prom's response. I, yeah, I said, Prom, how are you doing? She says, I'm alive. There you go. No, fuck you. So oh, there she is in the chat. I asked you where you were. Look, Mr. Kirby. all I'm trying, I'm just subtly trying to tell you that unloading really heavy news in people's chats on Twitch is not like good etiquette. It's just, it's not the place to do it. That's all I'm trying to tell you. That's it. I'm just, I figured this is a good opportunity to inform you. Heavy news like that 
when someone asks, hey, where have you been? You don't need to tell them, well, my dog died, my husband left me for a younger woman, my house burnt down, and my car got stolen, so I've been a little bit busy, that's why I haven't been around. Because it's like, oh, God, like, ugh. Ugh, like, you know, like, if, if someone asks, like, hey, what's up, where have you been? And it's heavy, just be like, I had a bunch of shit going on, so I've been lying low for a little while. Got it. So he, again, again, streamers, we're not therapists, we're just fucking retards behind a microphone and a camera, talking to a chat, playing a video game, doing whatever it is, alright? Not therapists. Especially me. If you come to me with therapy issues, you're fucked, you're beyond help, right? But, it's him. It's, in this case, it's this particular streamer that derailed the stream. So, my advice to anyone who streams, you know, I'm in no position to really offer much advice, considering, you know, this guy gets way more viewers than I do, is when you find yourself in a situation like this, and something like that in your chat happens, you address it in a human way. You offer your condolences, all that type of stuff, and then you move on and keep going, you know? To explode like this, at that stage... He is the one derailing the stream. So let this be a lesson to every streamer out there.